Hey, Mike, uh, you lost, but how different was this to be competing at the end of a game against a really good team? Um, it, it's good, you know. Uh, as a basketball player, they, like you want to be competitive, stay in games as a competitor, you know. It's just those are the games you live for. Fortunately, we, didn't, we weren't – we were close, but, but we didn't get it done. And, um, and uh, we, there's no – I mean, it's it's good to be in a game, but now it's it's going back and learning from it. And as we've done all year, we're just trying to improve to the next game. So, yeah, it's good to be in the game, but now it's time to improve some more. What what was better tonight about other performances? Um, I would say it's it started last game with a with a really heart. Uh, coach coach has been saying uh, no stance, no chance, and. Um, past two games it's been we've been smacking the floor we've been getting in a stance we've been having energy we've been playing together as a team uh playing basketball the way it should be played and um it's been fun playing with these playing with my guys like that I mean a lot of these a lot of these dudes to death and um we're, we're figuring it out but we got to get even better I found the first 30 minutes of the game a little bit confusing I it looked like you guys were playing pretty good defense but they're hitting like two-thirds of their shots how did you guys persist through that even after they got up 17 in the second half? Um, sticking with it, uh, competing, uh, having heart. I mean, learned, we've learned. We've learned from this season. You're never out of the game. And um, we, resi we resist runs. We keep fighting. We keep battling. And uh, we stayed with it. But, um, you know, didn't, it wasn't enough. But, yeah, they were making, they were, they were making shots. They, they made some tough shots. But. You know, you got you got as a defender, as a defender, you got to make them miss. So that's on us. And how much better was your guys' offense? It looks like you were getting better shots, cleaner looks for, for the last two games, actually. Yeah, just um, uh, we we played two good defenses the past two games, and just trying to um, just trying to move the ball, play the right way. And um, obviously, Nigel's special special talent, uh, special talent in this whole country, and um, we're, we're lucky to have him. And uh, everybody, though, Selton, Davion, Casey, Luke, Rudy, everybody, Tone, everybody, everybody's stepping up. And um, shoot, I, ho I hope I didn't miss anybody because we got a bunch of Warriors over here. And um, we're going to get better still. Thanks, Mike. Uh, next question to John Kurtz. Yeah, Mike, do you feel like that was about as complete and good a performance as you guys have put together this year? Uh, you know, I'd, I'd hate to say that because we lost, you know, and that, that's always the goal of the game. But it, it we, you could say that, but, uh, yeah, it was. But we lost. There's no other way to look at it. You get, I mean, on our home floor, got to protect home court. So that's still not where we need to be. Yeah, it was the best we've been. Can you just take me through the, the last shot, the last play you had there, just what, what you were seeing and uh, what could have gone differently there? Uh, well, I knew I knew they were they were. I heard the uh, coach smart, smart and um, talking about fouling, and uh, I thought uh, Coleman was going to try to foul, and I saw him reach in, and it, I thought he was trying to foul. So, I mean, I tried I tried to draw the foul, so I could try to get three free throws and get the highest percentage look, but it was, a, it was a bad play and that's on me. And, uh, I got to take that. I got to eat it and, uh, move on, learn from it. How much confidence can a game like this give you guys just hanging with one of the better teams in the country? Uh, a lot of confidence, um, but confidence we've, we've been building, we've been building and, uh, we've got our, we've got almost our whole team now with the exception of days one now that he's hurt and when when he gets back we'll bring us to a whole nother level too but um uh confidence got to stay with it staying with the staying with the process i appreciate it mike thanks thank you next question to tell us about Hey, Mike, uh, other than that last shot, was there any play or sequence that really ate at you that you felt like could have gone differently and won the game? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, start of the second half, without a doubt. And, uh, again, 
I got to take responsibility for it because it, it, it was my fault at the start of the second half. Um, took a bad shot, gave the turnover and an easy layup, and uh, really just lacking leadership at the start of the second half, not bringing enough energy. And um, so that's on me. And um, still, got to learn from it. It's a, it's a 40 minute game, not 36. And um, I, I got I got I got to learn from it too. And um, we all do. What I mean, you've been around a long time. What is the key to making that last step to go on from being close in games to actually winning them? Execution, execution down the stretch, and um, and and defense. And we we were there on defense. Uh, executing our offense could have been a little better down the stretch, I think. But defense and even defense too. But uh, we were competing. We were there on defense. We knew exact. We we knew where we were supposed to be. We knew the intensity we needed to have. And honestly, our defense tonight reminded me how it, how it, you know, my sophomore, freshman year, how that, how that was like. And, um, uh, it, it was, it, it was fun being out there competing on defense the way we were. It was. Hey, thanks, Mike. Thank you. Next question to Michael Berwin. Yo, Mike, what was the difference in protecting the ball tonight and limiting the turnovers? Um, you know, just being being strong with the ball, and um, still looking back, we even had too many turnovers. Looking back, we could have we could have kept it down to like five, six turnovers tonight, but um, we didn't. Um, really being strong with the ball, knowing what knowing what you're looking for on offense, um. Making be just learning. We're learning. We've we've been learning this whole time. Uh, I've I've come after these games and told you we're going to learn from it, and that's exactly what we've done. And um, we're still going to. Is that as active of a defense as you guys will see in the conference play? It was Texas. Yes. Um, uh, that's hard to say because you know this conference, uh, Texas Tech, you know Baylor. It's a lot of good defenses, and they're all they're 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 all similar, but they're different in little ways and personnel and whatnot. So they're 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 definitely up there, though. But uh, you know, we 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 can hang with the best of them. We we believe that we really do. Did them speeding you up and with a little bit of pressure help you guys get into the offense a little bit better? Uh, nah, just just being poised, learning. Like I said, uh, we knew we knew what we were running on offense, and we got into it. We got into it. Everybody got into their spots. We executed, made made good cuts. Um, we this like we're learning. We're learning better in motion, and uh, what coach has been preaching this whole this whole season. And um, that that's really it.